hey y'all and welcome back to another video with your girl nat in today's video i'm doing something a little bit different i've been challenged by keeping up with the griffin and challenge accepted this is my version of a charcuterie board so if you could please hit that like also subscribe button on your way in i really do appreciate it so without further ado let's get into the video So to make our sugar cookies, we're going to use one and a half cup of white sugar. Two and three fourth cups of all purpose flour. Now you're going to be adding a half a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. And now we're going to give everything a nice good stir. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to start with our wet ingredients, which I'm using one large egg. A half a cup of softened butter. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna go in with our hand mixer and make sure we give everything a nice blend. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients over to our wet ingredients. Give everything a good stir. Now we're going to go back in with our hand mixer and make sure we get everything well incorporated. So once everything is nice and st um, stirred, we're gonna go ahead and sit this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna line our parchment paper down on our baking sheet, and then we're gonna also sprinkle down some sugar. With my ice cream scooper, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out a good amount of cookie dough and round it out in my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this portion up because you guys already get the idea of me making cookies. So we already got our oven on 350 and I'm going to go ahead and sit these in there for about 20 minutes and then I'll come right back to y'all. And these are the final look of our sugar cookies. Now on to the next one. On to our chocolate chip cookies, we're going to use a half a cup of granulated sugar. One and a half cups of flour. A half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, 
Now we're gonna give everything a good stir. Now, in a separate bowl, we're gonna be adding a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of melted butter, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, One large egg. Now we're going to give everything a good stir. Now in our dry ingredients, we're going to go ahead and add a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now I'm going to speed through this portion of the video because you guys already get the basic idea of how to make the cookies. So, so now we're going to add our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients and give everything a good stir. So with some parchment paper on the baking pan again, we're going to go ahead and scoop our cookies onto the sheet. And I'll be right back to y'all once again. Now to our next dessert, I'm going to make a giant cookie. And now I'm going to be spraying my cast iron pan with some pans. And we're going to use the same cookie dough that we used to make the chocolate chip cookie. I also like using a little butter paper to help spread out the pan. Now we're going to take our ice cream scooper and just scoop a good amount onto our cast iron. Now we're going to place this in the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes. Now while our cookies are in the oven cooking, we're going to go ahead and start with our fourth dessert, which I'm making a peach cobbler. And I'm using some canned peaches and I drank all the juice. Now I'm going to be using about two tablespoons of cinnamon. Now I'm going in with about a cup of granulated sugar. Now I'm going to go in with about one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now you want to give your peaches a nice good stir to make sure you get everything well incorporated. It smells so good in this kitchen, y'all. Now I'm going to be using some store-bought pie crust and you can use whichever one you want to use. I just went ahead and lined the pan with some pie crust and then I'm going to go ahead and add my peaches to it. Now with our second pie crust, we're going to go ahead and just cut straight lines in it. Now we're just going to top our pie crust with the sliced pie crust. Now you're going to make your egg wash and 
and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on top of my pie crust. And this is just gonna make it get nice and golden brown. Now you're gonna add your cinnamon on top as well as your sugar. Now with a measuring cup, I'm going to go ahead and add a little divot into my cookie. Now in the middle of that, I'm going to add some mini marshmallows and two tablespoons of chocolate chips. Now we're going to go ahead and stick these back in the oven so they can get a nice little melt. Now for our last recipe, I'm going to be making a mini very berry funnel cake. And as you can see, I'm using some regular pancake mix, and I'm also using about three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now I'm gonna add in about one and a half cup of water. Now forgive me for not showing you guys how I put it inside of the oil, but I do have a funnel cake video. I will link down in the description box below, so I'm not leaving y'all hanging. So you want to make sure your funnel cakes are nice and golden brown and then I'm flipping it over to get the other side to cook. Once it's done cooking, we're going to go ahead and set it over to the side. Now we're going to be making our berry sauce, which I'm going to be using one cup of frozen strawberries and one cup of frozen blueberries. Now we're going to add about two tablespoons of sugar now we're gonna let our berry sauce just cook. So now on top of our funnel cake, we're gonna go ahead and place our berries on top. And I like to add whipped cream on top of mine. And just like that, I completed the charcuterie challenge. Thank you Griffins for including me in the challenge. And, and thank you all for tuning in to another video with your girl, Nick. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, peace.